We got a package today and uh, hopefully I made a good purchase. This remote no longer works. It won't turn on. A new one of these is going to cost me about 350 bucks with uh, shipping and tax and everything. This is the remote for the winch on the timber trailer. And instead of buying a new remote, I bought a new remote and receiver from a different brand. Let's have a look. Some protective cover, I believe. User manual. Some uh, stickers. And yeah, this came with two remotes. If you're interested, there's a link in the description for this whole kit. Now, this thing would have cost me 350 bucks, dollars, doll hairs. All of this was about $110 plus tax. So about $130 for all of this. Two remotes and a receiver. I did research these and uh, they appear to be nice quality. I think they're IP66, I believe. Well, this is IP67, so this is completely waterproof according to the specifications. And this is just one step below that. I quite like the design of them. I think you can take them, yeah, you can take them out of this. IP65. Okay, so this is 65, this is 67. This is the Q200. Seems nice quality. This is kind of stretchy, slightly. And then this is the receiver. What I didn't like about this is that the antenna goes, the antenna goes straight out. I would have much preferred if it went up just for mounting purposes, but should be fine. I'll figure something out. A couple of fuses, the antenna. And this is a regular, I can't remember the name of this. This is like a standard connector. So you could extend the antenna, put on different antennas. You could put a, like an angle uh, adapter on here to get it like so. And then this I'm guessing is for mounting. Yeah, a uh, vibration mount, yeah. It doesn't have an IP classification as far as I can see. But we'll figure that out. Let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. So that's the antenna right there. Also has a button of, for some reason. And that's probably the fuse inside. I assume the batteries go in here. Yep, just some AA batteries. And then these, I believe, go like that. Man, that is going to be tight. Actually, it might go underneath. Yep. Need a couple of batteries and we need to hook this up. I'm really just interested in the wires from this. Mostly these that go on the solenoids. I'm going to use this as a junction box. I think I'm going to drill a hole here. This one should be good. Yeah. Should probably have a fuse on that. It's probably a good idea.
There we go. Let me go grab some batteries for the remote. Okay, it turns on, so that's good. Let's see what happens if we put some power to this. We got a light going on. And what was the pairing sequence? Pairing mode of receiver. Okay, that just worked instantly. We're not getting any lights on these. I think those should light up. Right, you have power supply, power one and power two. I'll assume that's plus and minus. Okay, this is an absolute mess, but I think I figured it out in the end. So every positive lead is junctioned together and then the negative leads of the solenoids are connected to each respective port. And apparently they become negatively charged and not positively. I thought there was something wrong with this box, which there isn't apparently. The wiring here is really, it's weird in my mind. We have a common positive and we have a common negative and then each port gets negatively charged and that completes the circuit with a po common positive. This is all really weird. I'm no expert, obviously. We're connecting the receiver and then we'll turn on the remote and now everything is connected the way I just explained. So it seems to be working now. Really weird wiring in my mind. I do not understand why it's like this. I'm just going to use these uh, WAGO connections. WAGO? WAGO? Anyway. I'm inclined to put some ferrules on this. I'm gonna do that. It just looks nice. It keeps the strands nice and tidy. And these will fit inside the WAGOs as well. Green. Sometimes I forget there's a camera. Let's try that. Oh yeah, much better. Very good. And then we'll do some heat shrink on this as well. We can put a link in the description that, uh, for those. They're not expensive and they're very nice. It's some uh, China stuff, Amazon. I'll see if I can find them. Okay, and then we go, this one should be... Let's put some uh, ferules on this too. Fer ferules, ferule, ferule, ferules, 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 I don't know. Should have used red, but I don't have that size red, I think. I don't know which one of these are in and out, but I can just yeah, it doesn't matter. I can just swap them out around, so. That should be it. Let's check to make sure everything is working. Yeah, they're flickering a bit because of the fuse, but it's working. The next step, get another fuse and then mount it onto the tractor. Three days later. Now we're back to this project with the, the timber trailer. You already saw me working on that. So for me, it's been actually a couple of days. And I also got a hold of this wire, which is going to be for the DRO to the sawmill. A couple of glass fuses. Got a couple of these. We have some glass fuses. And they should all be 10 amps. Yep, that works, which means we can close this up.
the vibration mount works. Let's see if this uh, thing works now. So the crane receiver doesn't get any power and I um, don't really know why, but it does mean that I have to get back inside that box right there. And that absolutely sucks. It could be that I have positive and negative flipped around. Not sure, but Actually, before we close it up, let's test it to make sure. It's not ideal, the junction box behind here, but hopefully I'm not going to be dabbling too much inside of there, so fingers crossed. All right. So I'm at my computer right now editing this video and I forgot to shoot an outro for it. So I just wanted to thank you for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. And until next time, bye. Growing up I was a weird kid. See no matter what I ever did, all the normal guys would never quit. Poking fun at me Mama tried to make me regular She said the Lord above was testing her As I grew more and more peculiar